I know that this video is going to be a very long one and also a very emotional one because we're playing That Dragon Cancer. And besides knowing that this is about a kid with cancer and, well, you know, he dies. Um, and the developers of this game, I know that there's a very small team of developers and a lot of them were the family members of the kid that dies. So this is going to be a very heavy video, a very serious one. So, and it's going to cover a lot of difficult topics. So if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff, I don't suggest you watch this video. But let's let's just do it. <clears throat> I know that um I've seen um I I know that a lot of let's players have played this game, but I've yet to watch very much of it. I've only seen like the first 10 minutes or so. And Wow. I mean, for a game that's like made with a very small development team, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, sure, like maybe not a lot of details and like simple and but like it's very pretty. It's very pretty. Um, let me actually see if I can can I get captions? I don't know if I can. Huh, okay. Let's just keep going then. I'm a duck. I can look around. Hi, boy. Let's go over to you. Oh! Bread! Let's go eat the bread. More bread. Yum yum. Whoa, look at all that bread. We're eating good tonight. Come on, duck. Come on, ducky friend. We got this. <clears throat> oh man. This camera. It's very. delayed, I feel like. I feel like where I'm looking is not where the game is looking at. So it makes it really weird to control. Guys, give Joel some bread. Mom, you threw the whole piece. <laughs> well, Isaac, you gotta give him little pieces. He doesn't understand. Here you go, Joel. Here's a piece. Okay, now you throw it. Joel's almost five, right? Yeah. Oh. Mom? But he... Okay, wait. Now... <clears throat> now it's, like, in sync with my mouse. It's just being the duck made it weird. Talk. True. You can't talk. Yeah. Here, have friends. Two-year-olds can talk. Two-year-olds can talk. Why can't Joel? Well, Joel got sick right after he turned one. And, you know. Kind of slowed him yeah. down a little bit, buddy. Yeah. So he's just slower than most kids. I think eventually he'll catch up. You think Joel will leave? Yeah, I think Joel will read eventually. Well, Isaac, of course. He's just the way. Because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to be a boy. But he's a baby. He's a boy baby. <laughs> yep, he's a boy baby. That's yeah. just about right. You know, there's lots of things Joel isn't good at, but there's some things he is good at. What is he good at? He's eating, laughing, 
Yeah. We're good at making them laugh. You are good at making them laugh. Why? How do you make them laugh? I fall down. Yeah. It was really funny when you fall down. He's good at doing this what he loves. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, so, um, <clears throat> the voice actors, a lot of them are actually the, f like, the parents and, like, the relatives of the real-life Isaac. What does Or not Joel? Isaac, Joel. We're Isaac. Wow, wow. We play as Isaac, I think. In cups, bathtubs, and the warm, wet tums and the cool fur of Das. Maybe this week was a daily affection. And bye byes. And blown kisses. And more. Oh, always more. This full list of work. That's. This. So few. This, this game makes me feel. I know it's like a really sad topic, but it makes me feel really happy, I guess. It, it, it makes me feel... It... There's a time. <laughs> but very soon. Ah. Do you think they know? Can they sense it? None of them know. No one ever realizes how short the time is. This game is so... This game is so... Beautiful. I, I feel the love that the creators put into this. I feel... Sorry, I'm so I'm so sorry. I keep interrupting this because this is really important stuff. But I I feel the passion that went into this. I feel the love that went that they put into this, and it feels really nice. It, I can feel how much this 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 game meant to them. This isn't just like something that they. This was. No words I say can do it justice. This is... You can... Uh, you can tell... You can just feel it. You can feel... How much love they put into this. And how important it was. I don't know what they they mean by they. Like I don't know who they is. I'm assuming it's like other kids. Let's head this way. What is pain? Without what is a word? pain? Without a word for it. What is hope? What is hope? A word for it. Who is God? What is joy? This is really philosophical. Hey guys. Who am I to him? <laughs> Dada. Dada. Oh, he's all over. Hi. Swing. We get to swing. Oh, this is this is this is so lovely. This is so lovely. I wonder if the sounds of of Joel laughing is actually what Joel sounded like. Was this like actual audio from? Like videos of Joel or something? What's this? Hey babe, just got done at the doctor. Um, now they think that maybe he's throwing up all the time because he has acid reflux. So they gave me a medication and we can give it to Joel. And they said we have to give it at least three full days. But that if he's still throwing up after that, then we can come back. Oh, and wow, I just went through. the head tilt thing again, even though they keep 
anything that's not related, but you always have to mention that one weird outlying thing. So I told them how his head was tilted to the right, but they still say that that's probably not related at all. So, yes, we'll just give this a try. And I don't know, I'll tell you more about it when you get home. Oh, we are we are Joel now. Oh no, we're not. We're just hey. Oh how this is so lovely. This is so lovely. Slide. Go. Go. <laughs> this is so sweet. Oh. oh man, am I gonna cry at the end of this? I feel like I'm gonna cry at the end of this. I'm sorry, Joel. We have to keep going. Let's exit. Oh, I I thought they all disappeared now. There's Joel's over there by his on this way. Oh wait, I didn't I didn't talk to that Joel. Oh, I don't think I can go back. I gotta make it more sensitive. Oh shit. Oh no. Wait. What is that? What the? Um. Um. Oh wait, is that like. It's the cancer cells. It's the cancer cells destroying all these good memories. That's so sad. Oh no. I have I've yet to to know anyone personally who who died of cancer. But I know that I know that cancer is like it is so common. You don't understand like fear is cancer's preservative. Cancer is so common. Cancer's embalming oil. Cancer is so cool. Like, this story that oil sales. This You're a snake. This story that like a serpent. A dragon was snuffed out cold on his exactly. breath, molting, talons broken from the struggle to free yourself of your own skin. Oh my god. <laughs> this story that like that that seems so sad is 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 everywhere. Every like there, there are millions and millions of people who like. Who, who have the story. Who have a story like that where, where at least maybe it's not like maybe they didn't die, but like at least. There's so many people who who who's experienced cancer, and so many people who, whose loved ones experience cancer and and. And that's that's so, it's it's crazy, it's crazy how a tragedy like this is happening everywhere. Oh man, I love the lighting here. Oh my god, the lighting looks so good. Hey, do you want a rock? There we go. Uh, 
phone. Hey babe, I was just thinking, do you ever think maybe Joel can hear better than he's supposed to be able to? Because I know, like, it's supposed to be moderate to severe hearing loss, but sometimes, like today, he hears music playing before I do. So I saw him dancing, and I had to look around to hear that a song was playing. And I just don't, like, if his hearing loss is that bad, I can't imagine. I don't know. I just wonder about it. Anyway, call me later. Bye. Bye. Oh. What? Oh, what's happening? Um, um. B buttons. Oh. What? It's nighttime now. Look at all the stars. I feel like the one thing that I am never going to be, like, absolutely enthralled by are stars. Like, I remember I went. I went out with friends, trick or treating. And like, wow, well, yeah, I am too old for trick-or-treating, but I went anyways with like a huge group of friends and and I was so entranced at, at how many stars were out. And I remember, I remember going to a, a national park and there wasn't like a, we didn't, we just like literally just slept in the car <laughs> in the middle of, um, in the middle of this of the wilderness in the middle of the national park and i remember it was so late i stayed up so late and i just well, i mean i i slept terribly i slept terribly because it was like in the car and stuff <laughs> and i i just looked up and there was just i i could spend hours just gazing up at the stars and I remember because of that because of that trip actually because of how many times we slept in the car I got I started getting fears of claustrophobia in my dreams but that's besides the point <laughs> hi <sighs> what is that I could top I could toss them up. What are they? Are they oh they're hand balloons. They're hand balloons. Hey Isaac. I mean Joel, I keep calling him Isaac. I'm sorry. Joel. Oh wait. What? What what's happening? I think I think when the balloons fell they just <gasps> oh, that's so cool that's so cool oh my god look at that to the moon Oh, that's so cool. Oh no! No! Wait, it's- it's- Oh wait, we have to push him out of the way. Come on, buddy, we got you. We got you. No, wait. I- I can't see shit. Come on, we need to keep him afloat. No! I lost a balloon. Oh god, this is so this is so difficult to control. No! Wait. No, wait. Wait. Oh god, there's so many of them. Ah. No. Joel, I'm I'm so sorry. I I wish I was a better gamer. I literally went through that one. No. I mean, I don't think we're making any progress towards the, the moon. The perspective on this is so weird. I just don't know where we're going either. Oh. Joel, wait, what? Where'd you go? Oh, you're on the bed now. 
Hi. What 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 do I do? Oh hey. Oh. Um, I just wanted to take a shower. Is that okay? Are you okay with Joel? Okay, thanks. Oh, are we playing the the wife or the girlfriend? Dog. Hi. We feel the puppy. You can hear the, the sounds of people. How nice. Oh. Hello? Hello? Who's at the door? Loading screen. Okay. End of treatment party. Oh! No more treatment. This is... This is... Dance like no one's watching. I have to look at all these. I have to look at all these. <laughs> Brittany. Colors of Valor. Destin Capuchin. Colors of Valor. Brittany. This is absolutely mesmerizing. I can't read the words at the bottom. Unusual Gravity by Hadril. Hadriel. Starlight Hippo. <laughs> What did this one say, actually? Family and color. <clears throat> Can we go through these doors? I don't think so. I love this one. I love this piece. Holy crap. Journey in light, in light and darkness. Oh, I love that. That looks... That looks really pretty. Dance like no one's watching. Offspring. Huh. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> Still life. Oh, there's so much. There's so many memories. Untitled. Is that Joel? Dad drawing. <laughs> That's is that Dad's drawing of of Joel? Claire's first fingerprints. Guess this isn't all about Joel. They have other kids too. Untitled. Henry and Ella Oliver. Peggy's Cove. To you, Linda, who made the largest impression. <sighs> Galactic treasure. Your life is a precious... I can't read all that. A 
Untitled. JAA. Gaia or Orion Phoenix Rising. Oil on Canvas. This is this is hitting deep. Nehemiah eight ten. I don't know how to pronounce that. Still life. Oh, we we've seen this one. There's so many paintings and memories. Dillion, Yellow Kayak, Untitled, Falling Slowly, wow, that is ethereal, that is absolutely amazing, Untitled. Fall. Fall is so pretty. Fall is the prettiest. The prettiest. The prettiest season. I don't know why I forgot the word season. Loki chilling. I. Wolfie. I am. I'm. This is all just so. Cookers. <laughs> Talk to you soon. That's so. Bye. That's so cute. I'm so gonna cry. And it's not like it's particular. The thing is, like, my weakness to making me cry isn't sad things. Like, I don't cry to sad things. I cry to happy things, which is really strange. race away cancer and like things like this like happy memories happy people that's what makes me cry because I mean I don't know it, it's it's a beautiful thing roar over me I chose you I know everything about you I love you I am the perfect father. I give you joy. I I will give you the des desires of your own heart. What is this? Lipa tat iwunsa gastu white Sun twig twigs Malifg Marila Nola Tat <laughs> I've seen some of my old childhood drawings, they suck. Reeb Seacam by Re Rebecca M Mayer Meyer. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. I've never known how to. Untitled. Bernie and Aiden, Connor, August, August, that's beautiful, Rampets Deferred, 
That is, wait. Holy shit, that looks, that looks incredible. I love that. That's, that's wallpaper worthy. Amy. Hey honey, we're on our way home from the hospital now. So if you wanted to preheat the oven starting in about 30 minutes, that would work and we could throw in that lasagna. Um, do you know how they celebrate off treatment day? Like when kids are done with their treatments? I, I guess maybe you don't cause you're not in the clinic as much as I am, but on someone's last day, they always bring them a cake and they sing happy off therapy day to you. Anyway, that happened today. I mean, it happens a lot, but today I cried. I just wanted that day so bad. You know, I just like, we're not ever going to get that day. If he's better, we won't know that he's better. We don't get a day. Anyway. Okay. Call me if you can. Like there's probably traffic. So <laughs> this is going to make me right, cry. Bye. No, no, no. It's not like I don't want to cry. It's just that I don't want to cry on camera. Not on camera, but. Oh, yo, yo. Holy crap. Oh my god. Whoa. Yo, yo. First place. First place, baby. Woo. Yeah, baby. Oh. This is so awesome. This is so cool. Come on, I gotta get the world record. I gotta get all the fruits too. Okay. Last lap. Big chicken. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to hit them or not. Like the chicken. Let's go, we did it! Oh wow! What I win? A lot of stuff. Oh shit! How do you get a look at all the paintings? Oh wait. No, I can't go back. Did anyone ask the doctor? Okay, is it just the doctor on call, or is this our doctor? Well, because the on-call doctor is just a resident. Oh shit! We're going to space. Oh, it just seemed like yesterday in clinic they were going to let us go. I just want to know what the plan is. Who canceled the trip? Do we get a look at all the paintings I didn't get a look at? It's a reindeer. It's Rudolph. By Lily Annabella. Oh, this is beautiful. Phoenix, the beginning of the end. What is this? By Stephen Schillard. Schillard. Hi. What are we doing? Oh. That, that side is gone. Um. Okay. Oh, that side is gone. Um, oh, wait, no, we can go through it. Loading. The Temple of Man. This is, I love this. This is so foreboding. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Whoa. Whoa. Holy crap. I love this. I love this so much. Oh, this is so cool.
He's getting scanned. Hey, it's you again. I love you, my friend. This is my favorite game. Do you want to see? I yeah, I do want to see. It. Whoa. <laughs> How do you do that? You touch it right here, then a big lion comes. A big lion, huh? Not a scary lion. It's so loud. That doesn't look like a lion. I can roar. That's why I can. Yeah, hear me roar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Don't be afraid. Wow. Lion. Wow. Whoa, where'd you go? Let me be clear. <laughs> Whoa, spinny baby. Oh, this is so weird. I love it. Unicorn, or, I mean, horse. It's the constellations. <gasps> Sheep. Is that a lion? Or she I can't tell. It. I oh. Dog? <laughs> Giraffe? <laughs> I got. Do I. What do I do? Do I have to keep all of them up? What am I doing? <laughs> oh wait, he transferred. Last one? Wait, where, which one's last one? What do we do now? Oh, there it is. I don't know what's happening, I have to be honest. What am I doing? Oh, okay. I guess we're done with that. Watching you, waiting for you to wake, hoping you will never remember these days of illness and treatment. One day, I'll bring you here, show you your tiny handprints on the wall, and Joel. you'll be annoyed that we all think of you as some big miracle. <laughs> Cancer will be such a small part of all you could grow to be. You will tire of hearing about it. You won't want to see the cards and notes I saved. And I won't mind at all. I'll hold the memories of this hard day. You just leave it behind. This is so beautiful. And so nice. I this 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 game just this game y'all choked up. It's getting me all choked up. Uh. To everyone who's ever died of cancer, especially my father and grandmother, rest in peace, Hank, Marsha, and all of the rest, and all the rest of you, beautiful, beautiful people. I hope that whatever become of you, whatever has become of you, 
You are presently better off than you were at the end of your life. We miss you. There's so many notebooks. I bet we can read through every single one. <sighs> You're stronger than you know. Love will keep you strong. It will indeed. But have no fear, our story's just begun. I can read all of them, I know it, I knew it. We belong to each other. I mean, there is a shitload of them. I don't know if I'm gonna read all of them, unfortunately. There is so many notes here. Don't let speed bumps become the mountain they make they try to be. Tears welling in my eyes. I'm. I miss you, Mom. I'm. I'm overcome with emotion. <laughs> Joshua, stay strong, little man. Mommy and Daddy love you. again the darkness is always there <sighs> there are tears fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars Did never ger Magden I can't understand that. This OST is making it so much worse too. All our love from Kai, Mal, and Nana. I didn't get to read all of them, but If I read any more, I was gonna start bawling my eyes out, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, guys, it's not good. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Cow? Cow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Farmer Bill races the horse and Farmer Bill wins. <laughs> Yay, hey, Farmer Bill wins. <laughs> Farmer <laughs> Bill wins. Farmer Bill scratches the pig's chinny chin chin. <laughs> <laughs> I 
They got all of them, didn't they? Got the pig. Got the horse. Got the duck. Got the cow. At the square dance at night, Farmer Bill swings Bessie the cow round and round. <laughs> oh, it's turned tonight. Farmer Bill doesn't like it when the ducks get the mail. They always bring back a lot of bills. <laughs> oh, I get it. Farmer Bill, you silly pig. Speaking of pig. So why did I say silly pig? Silly goose. <laughs> and finally. Farmer Bill asked the horse to take the truck to town. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure I saw Farmer Bill doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Farmer Bill's awesome. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Oh, that replays it. Oh, Farmer Bill can control space and time. I see. Parents always ask how big. Wrong question. They should ask where it is. Location is everything. Slow death or quick, symptoms and losses all come down to where. Well, it's, it's in the frontal cortex. And it's quite small at this point, but unfortunately the size isn't terribly important. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. Oh, so, oh yeah, he had off treatment, but now he's on treatment again. He has another tumor. Oh no. With an ATRT, as soon as you have a recurrence of any kind, it is fatal. It's only a matter of time before it spreads to several locations. We've already thrown all the chemotherapy we have at it. We can't continue to give him chemotherapy that we know it's resistant to. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curative. Oh no. Imagine getting that news. That would be absolutely horrific. I guess I'm going to cry after all because they love us. And they love Joel and... We're very good at managing the pain and masking symptoms at the end of life. What well, doesn't matter? It doesn't matter if they. <laughs> what matters is that they they die. Oh, miracles are scary. How long are we talking about? They're gonna about? die. A few weeks to maybe four months. <laughs> that's awful. I I mean, like, yeah, that's obviously really good that they. They can control the pain, but like the parents don't want to hear that. They want to hear that the child can. Science, move. it's simpler, measurable. I get A, B, subtract C, and I get this result, and I can do something to control it, or at least have the sense that I'm controlling it. But now all we have left is a miracle. <laughs> And miracles are <laughs> fickle. They don't always come, and we don't always know why. What if Joel's miracle doesn't come? I, I hope he lives. I've always hoped. But now I can't do anything but hope. Radiation. At least we can do something. Hope doesn't require signing papers or driving to hospitals or holding Joel in my lap. This, Hope this is, is so something someone else has to do for us. And when doctors can't, so this is what Jesus must. We're so sorry. Hey. Doctor, tell me what's up. I hate this part of the job. The impotent confession of failure to parents that are still trying desperately to hold on to hope for a breakthrough. 
they're not wrong. We'll find something. We'll get better. But not in time to help Joel. I wish they wouldn't thank us for bad news. They've always been clear! Joel's had a recurrence of his tumor. Well, where is it? How big is it? Well, it's in the frontal cortex. And it's quite small at this point. But I'm not the size of the cortex. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. As soon as you have a recurrence of any kind, it is fatal. It is only a matter of time before it spreads to several locations. We have already thrown all the chemotherapy we have at it. We can't continue to use chemotherapy that we know is resistant to. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curious. We've given you a lot to think about already today. Fuck. I'm sorry I'm not saying much. I'm just... I'm just letting it all sink in me. And... Holy fuck. There's a lot to sink in. <gasps> that wasn't a pun. I, that was an intentional pun about. That was not an intentional pun about sinking. Oh my god, I'm just. I am. Uh, I'm just taking it all in. Holy fuck. Adrift. things stirring around in my spirit that I have to write to settle myself and find God's wisdom in the midst of chaos. I'm scared I won't be strong enough to face the things we might have to face in the coming weeks and months. But then I remember how much grace God gave us to walk out everything we've already faced. I've never felt completely overwhelmed and I've never felt alone. So no matter what comes next, and I truly cannot even begin to guess how this will go. I know we will be carried. I want to shout out, look what God is about to do. Watch how he delivers Joel. And at the same time, I want to roll up in a silent ball and wait it out with fear and trembling, so aware of all my doubt but yet convinced that my doubt is insignificant compared to God's faithfulness. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I have so many things stirring around in my spirit that I have to write. Where do I go next? Oh, wait, I could look here. There we go. Dear Eli, I feel nothing but pride for the way you battled cancer. I remember the way you learned to ride your tricycle down the hospital hallway instead of down the sidewalk like other three-year-olds. It was hard for me to pray to God, Thy will be done, when I really just wanted so desperately for Him to heal you. In the four and a half years that you dealt with harsh treatments, only once did you ask why God let you get cancer. I hope he has been able to explain the why to you 
as I have always believed that he knew how strong you were and wanted to use you and your situation to positively impact so many lives. I remember how you never let me go to bed without telling me that you loved me and how those were your very last words to me. You taught me what was truly important in life, son. Still now, years after you left Earth, people are impacted by your life and the lessons you taught us. Thousands of people from around the world read your blog and still feel such a strong connection to you, even though they never met you in person. This game's so beautiful. And the way it like presents everything is so beautiful too. We've been through so much already. This is a new degree of tragedy, but it's not so much different from the struggle we've already been living. We pressed into God. We pressed into faith. We fought until we found peace. We stood in peace when our flesh wanted to strive more. We stood in peace when it started to feel like laziness or foolishness or both. <laughs> we waited for God to direct us specifically in prayer because all the directions we had initiated had not panned out. We prayed for no nausea because that's what we felt in our spirits we were supposed to pray, even though we'd prayed it countless times before while Joel continued to vomit. We saw one small miracle and then another. We waited to pray specific things until we were given specific direction and we saw bigger miracles. And yet, if you asked either of us if we were doing enough, trying hard enough, we would say no. This is so beautiful. I mean, this, the endless ocean, the lighthouse, the stars above. Oh, it even rotates. Wow, that's so beautiful. Oh, her expectation is so maddening sometimes. Do you know what she wrote on the eve of Joel's first surgery? The one back in January when we first found the tumor? I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. <laughs> what? I'm pleading for God to spare his life. And I'm tempted to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude I shouldn't expect much of anything. <sighs> and yet my wife is expecting a surprise party from the Lord. Replete with presents. Supernatural miracles. <sighs> I envy her. Damn. I knew that this was gonna be sad. I, I wasn't expecting Pop in this. Bed, boys, let's go. I wasn't expecting boys, this. Oh get my god. In bed. Oh, can you at least tell us a story? That dragon cancer. Um, <sighs> sure. Okay. This is the story of a very brave knight. Named Joel. Whoa. Joel the baby knight? Yes. Joel the baby knight. <laughs> but he's also Joel the very brave knight. Wow. He was being chased by a dragon. Oh no. How do I go up? There we go. Let's go. Because of his tumor? Gamer. Where does the dragon live? Um, in a forest. Is the dragon big? Very big. Oh crap, end of dragon time. Does the dragon breathe fire? So much fire, you guys. Okay. I, I'm so bad at this. Okay. So, Joel has armor, like a sword and a shield and stuff? Ooh, or maybe a spear? Let's go. Yeah, that sounds good. So, so brave Sir Joel with his sword and his shield and his awesome spear How do I... and his super jumping ability. Oh, I have super jumping abilities. By a dragon named Cancer. What other superpowers does he have? Uh, 
he also has grace. Grace. That's not a superpower. Wow. It's the best superpower. <laughs> Do you guys know what grace means? She's yeah, it's beauty. Kind of like help. She's grace. Yeah, it's kind of like help. Boom. Boom. You know, and he's not the only one who's ever tried to fight this dragon. But some very brave knights have fought this dragon and lost. And some are able to drive the dragon off. And they can go home and they can quit fighting for a while. And the kingdom is I don't want to talk about this body or something like that. I just, I don't long. want to interrupt anything. I'm so invested too. But, Joel found a nice empty cave where he could rest and it Minecraft. seems like the dragon couldn't find him but just when he thought that the danger was past the dragon found his hiding spot and came after him in the cave oh no well, this is so going cool to kill Joel. Joel's going to lose no Why he's not because Joel it's just a baby. Babies can't kill dragons. Who right. said that? Oh, I got Baby hit. Baby can't kill a dragon. But that's the Grace? best part of this story. God oh, fights what? for Joel. So he fights that dragon cancer right with Joel. And we know that God can win even if Joel can't. That's Grace. Ow. Oh, shit. What about Tim from Church Mom? He died from cancer. Tim from Church. Was God fighting for him? Didn't he have Oh, shit. God fought for Tim, too. Tim fought this so sucks. well. He was so brave and so strong. God let him rest. It may have seemed like the dragon won because Tim died. Oh. You know that Tim's in heaven and that he's with God and that God is so proud of him. This sucks. Oh god. Why is the dragon so strong? The dragon's almost dead. It's almost dead. No. Die, dragon. Come on. Just die. One more hit. One more hit. Why aren't you dying? Wait, what? I'm hitting you. Excuse me? I couldn't kill the dragon. It didn't take damage. What? Drown him. That doesn't indeed seem to be what he's doing. Head towards the lighthouse. At least that's where I think we're going, right? Got more places to be? Ryan! Oh, Ryan, get in the boat! <coughs> I can't. You have to, you'll drown! We're already drowning. Holy fuck. How can you sit there like that? Despair doesn't help anything. <sighs> Neither does false hope. And I'm not despairing. How can you say false hope? You're drowning! Well, you're missing your oars! And you don't even know where you're going! And yet you're so sure you're gonna get there! It's better than drowning! Well, enjoy floating on the surface like you always do. There's nothing deep about drowning. Just get <laughs> in the boat. You have to let me feel this. Someone has to. That's not fair. I love him as much as you do. I just really believe we're going to be okay. Holy fuck. Game. Why do you have to be so sad? I'm 
sure my expectation looks like denial, but seeing Joel dying does not make me any less certain that he will be healed. In some ways, I feel more certain, not because the same doubts don't come to me, but because I know that they will not be entertained much longer, because this chapter is almost finished, and we will have an ending one way or the other. So the doubts and fears that make me reaffirm that even if I'm wrong, this is where I stand, become less and less powerful. Holy fuck, I am so engaged right now. I am... This, this stuff's so... This stuff's so, like, hard. Like, it's showing you the stuff that you never want to hear about. People's consolatory words of comfort meant to reassure us and help us accept Joel's death don't sit well with me. They aren't offensive because I know the heart behind them is good, but they are weak words because it's so obvious to me that death is the given. I don't have to work to be ready for it or accept it. It is coming whether I would accept it or not. It has been coming slowly for so long. I don't have to work to understand that Joel is dying. It is obvious. Heaven is amazing. And so I'm not worried about death. It will come regardless of where I stand and wait. But now, death is circling close enough for redemption to finally feel closer. Oh, we're going underwater again. Oh no. Where are you going? Where are you going? He is just swimming deeper and deeper. No! Oh no. Oh no. Fuck. I'm... I'm so tired. I'm so... Huh. Emotionally so drained. Looks pretty from here. The orange glow cast on the wall. Better than the muted colors of this hospital. I wonder why they choose blues and greens. <laughs> they, the ones who choose the colors that heal. Green for life. Blue. Hmm. For comfort. Purple stripes to hide the stains. <laughs> huh. This chair is too small and sticks to my skin. I hate vinyl. What am I looking at? Blue. Purple. <laughs> hmm. The ocean, maybe? No. Under the ocean. Oh. Silent. Warm. And salty. Like tears. He won't stop crying. I don't blame him. He feels miserable. I hate that we're here. I hate that he's sick. I just want him to feel better. Here, I want to leave. I, I, I don't know what to do. Oh, here we go, bouncing around. <laughs> do you like that? Where is oh, he? Your giggle. Bounce around. <laughs> I don't know is what's happening. Funny? A bounce, a bounce, a bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> oh, he won't stop crying. I'm hungry. I 
Mm -hmm. I am hungry. miserable. Oh. I hate this room. I hate it too. I, I hate used to. I, um, <laughs> for a moment, it was an adventure. I was cast as the compassionate and caring father, holed up with his fragile son in a small cleft in the rocks. The storm raging, waves ripping at the sharp black rocks below, and enveloped in my arms, he feels safe, and I am holding him firmly, trying not to slip. Because if you hold tight enough, nothing will take him. Right? it greedily big <laughs> deep gulps big, okay deep Jolie that's gulps. enough breathe kiddo <laughs> and he does and I wipe his face of snot and tears and juice and then he vomits and I catch it I always catch it <laughs> <laughs> I know you're thirsty buddy but you'll throw it up don't grab too hard. You'll squirt all the juice out. Here, let me have it. What am I doing now? It's so late, Joel. Lay down. I can't hold you. I can't make you feel better. Okay, buddy, okay, I'll hold you. Shh. Oh, Joel Bug, you look so miserable. No! Don't hit your head on the bars, Joel. Joel! Joel! I know you're mad. Please stop. Please. St stop. Holy I shake. I weep. I pray. I plead. I need peace. I am empty. You are. I know all that you are. You are there. I want you here. I want you to call my son. And you've brought us this far. He's still here. Not dead. Not there. With you. God, I want him here with me. Please. Peace. He sleeps. Thank you. Oh my god. <sighs> the pain. I can't... I can't imagine what it'd be like to... to know someone. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus and his disciples are on a boat. It's just like you can't do anything. Like that thing. That's the thing with cancer. You're, you can't do anything. Everyone thinks they're gonna die. Where do you think Jesus is? I, I bet people. Them? It would feel so powerless. He's asleep. 
in the back of the boat. So his disciples are freaking out and wake him up and they say, don't you care if we drown? So Jesus gets up and he says to the storm, quiet, quiet, be still. And the sea becomes completely calm. Then he asks his disciples why they are so scared and if they have any faith at all. Like he was frustrated with them. Because even though Jesus said, let's go to the other side of the lake, his disciples thought he was going to just let them die. Guitar. I'm saying nothing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But more than I just... that, if he does die, will Jesus even care? <laughs> will he weep for him as he did for Lazarus? This is just so much. I think greater than my fear of death is that of insignificance. I'm yawning, and it's not because like I'm I'm Rather, staying up late. I'm not, my default not assumption is that I'm my just... thoughts and passions and loves and the stuff of my being are tired. insignificant. I'm just emotionally tired i'm mentally tired how could the tired. creator of all that is in ever this was game is so loved tiring. my son as he did lazarus that's so sad and could my soul stranded on this blue raft awash in a sea of stars ice and dust matter enough to him to turn his hand in mercy that's so beautiful and that's so sad Oh my god. It's even while Jesus wept for Lazarus. Five minutes later, he raised Lazarus from the dead. I'm climbing up. Oh, where are we going? To the very top? Where do we go? This is a beautiful sight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have known we both end up in the same place. We always do. It just scares me every time. I just really believe he'll I be healed. I want to be here real life. I, I know you believe too. Just when you act like that, I get all unsure. I don't know that. What do you mean? I just hope that. I don't know. This is such a beautiful spot. Where do we go now? I don't know what to do now. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot we're a bird. Let's go inside.
the temple of God. Oh my God, it's so, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, I love stuff like this. Let's go up, I suppose. Up the steps. This is such a nice color. Just the angelic glow of everything. It's so nice. God. The black is still there though. The darkness that seems to be everywhere in this game. We can't get rid of it. Let's go here. Piano. Lord, Lord, rise, Lord, rise, Lord, rise up. My Lord, rise, Lord, Lord, rise up. I, I cannot let you go unless you rise up. Rise, Lord, 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 rise, Lise, 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 Lise,
if I just let everything stop, will it just stop? The last candle. his only chance left his only choice left he can't do anything it's just no 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 his soul was extinguished he was not in the wind he was not in the earthquake he was not in the fire he was here Phoenix. There was the painting of the phoenix in the beginning. The one I, I really liked. Well, it was one of the ones I really liked. It's so it's it's beautiful. Picnic at the edge of the world. It's the stars again. We're still the bird. To Amy from Ryan. So here we are. And the air is emptier without his laugh, and yet our hearts are still full, but with a different drink. And this ride we've been on for so long is silent, and so also the Lord. And so we sit here in this new silence, and long for the music to start again, and for the disc to spin again, even if it means going round and round for many more years. For at least we would be moving, and Joel would be laughing here on earth, and not only in heaven. But in this space, I sense his silence is only because he is drawing his breath. And now we know love and longing, empty and full, all in one moment. And I am grateful that we loved him well, and that we miss him well. And I hope that in the Lord's next breath, he will whisper his love song to you, his beloved, and that you will know him differently and more deeply. But now, we grieve in silence, yet not without his presence. I have, I have a million thoughts racing through my head, but I, <laughs> I, can't say any of them because I need I just I don't know what to say I'm so I'm so taken a breath I'm so taken aback by all of this That's... I remember you you made it too I'm glad you're here I love it here I bet you would like it too pug Look at all of these pancakes. Did you ever see pancakes like this? They're big as me. A big one is for me. A little one is for my dog. <laughs> I always wanted a dog, and now I got one. That's so I nice. Even got to name it. What's his Manju. name? Manju. Manju. 
It's so nice. Bro, bubbles? Bubbles. Bubbles! I didn't know what it was. It's bubbles. Catch a bubble. Let's buy them. My dog is afraid of bubbles. bubbles. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Look, I can catch one. Oh yeah? Let's see it. I want more bubbles. You want more bubbles? Okay. I can give you more. I'm here, man. Andrew. Have another pancake. That cannot be healthy <laughs> for a dog. Oh. I can eat whatever I want. I never fall. That's nice. <laughs> Where are we going? We're floating away. for playing for Joel Evan Green and there he is it's been six it's been seven years oh actually in association with I can't even pronounce that Ryan and Amy Green and written by Ryan and Amy Green there's a lot of siblings good job to everyone who made this that was <coughs> that was an experience that was beautiful that was that was amazing that was amazing you can just, you can just feel how much, how, how important this was to them. I, oh my God, this, this game is, this isn't a game, this is, this is an experience. Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Thanks for watching guys <laughs> I don't know when this ends but <sighs> that was <sighs> I keep repeating the same things I don't know what else to say it's just holy fuck It's so terrible. It's so beautiful and so terrible. It's so terrible that someone has to to go through this. It's it's so terrible that this happens so often out there in the world. It's this game is so beautiful. It's so It's such a delight. It's so beautiful. <sighs> I 
That's a lot of backers. All right. Um, I think I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.